Alright, hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to get a free forum by phpbb3. Um, this is just one of the many forums that you can get. So, uh, here we go. We can go ahead and get and go ahead and get started. Just type in phpbb and just search that. It should automatically take you to their website. Um, go ahead and click on downloads at the top. From there, go ahead and download stable release. And over here, download this one, the zip file. Just wait the uh, three seconds it is, and it should automatically start downloading. Click save. And it shouldn't take long at all, it's instantly done. So now you should have the zip file on your desktop. Use WinRAR, rarlabs.com, to extract the file. Or I think Windows has its own built in uh, extractor. So just right click on it, go extract here or extract files, whatever you want. Alright, just about done. Okay, now it's done. So now we have the folder here. Now we have to open up our FTP client or um, go to 00webhost.com. Uh, sign up, or if you're already a member, just go to the members area. I'm already a member, obviously. You guys see my other videos. Go ahead and log in. Um, I just blow out all that stuff so you can't see anything. I just go on my testing site, go to cPanel. Uh, from here, go down and see view FTP details underneath files on the far left and this all this information we all need so go ahead and download FileZilla or Smart FTP whichever one you prefer I prefer FileZilla um, at the top is a quick connect bar so what you can do is copy and paste all the information from the FTP details into the top bar so host is the host name which is probably your donate domain and then the username and password and all that um, for port you can just leave that empty it doesn't matter so then just hit quick connect. So as soon as that logins, you just see these folders and two files here. Just go into public underscore HTML. From here, I'm just going to make a new directory. PHP BB3. And this is where I'll upload all the files. So on the left here is our like explorer. And this is the folder that we extracted from the zip file. So what you can do is go inside, press control A, and drag and drop into other side. It will do all the, I don't know, 917 files. Yeah, just about 917. 915. 915 files. So I'm just going to pause it and continue as soon as it's done. Alright, now that everything is uploaded, let me just reconnect so that I make sure it shows everything. Alright, now we can go to our link and um, install it. What? Did I type that wrong? Oh, I guess it has to be capitals. Oh, man. Alright, testing this. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so now here's the install page. We can, you can change your language, I guess there's no language, you can download the language pack from their uh, site. So just click on the install tab, so you'll need all this stuff here, blah blah blah. We've got that all from 00 web post, so you know it knows we have all this, but here Firebird, I don't have it, I don't have whatever it says I have, I have, right? So now when it comes down to here it says found but unwritable, we have to go into our FileZilla and it says cache. So I look here and I go for cache, right click on it, go to file permissions and go write, write. So it's 777. You can just write 77 in there and it'll make everything checks. It's whatever you want. Click OK, go back. What's the next one? Files and store. Okay, so files. Oops. Go to so there, config and
Alright, now everything is writable. Everything should be fine, and now we can start the install. Um, just my SQL will work. And now for the database hostname and all that, what we can do is go back to our domain or our cPanel in a 00 web host, come down till we find, where is it? S my SQL under software and services, click on that. Now, um, here is my databases that I made. You probably won't have any, so just in here you can type in whatever you want, the username you want, and the password you want, and then just click create database and it'll give you all of this. So now I just want to take the copy and paste everything from here into this. So the database name is this one. And my database username is this. And my host is this. And the port can be 21. And uh, my password, make sure I got this right. I don't even think that's right. I'm going to retype that. Alright, that's fine. And per proceed to next step. What? Okay, something's wrong. Let me just change this back to nothing. I'll see if that works. Alright, so yeah, just don't do any port number. And I can keep going through all this. British English, what I want. Username could be admin. Password. Wow, I did not type that right. Email. Just so, just basically just keep going through all this, filling out everything, and um, it'll do all of its installation stuff. So now when it comes down here, I'll just, no, 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 don't worry about that. Cookie, sure. Force, whatever. Oh, my phone's ringing. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Alright, so server protocol, just HTTP. That's good. That's the my domain. Should be right. Server port eighty, whatever, sure, script path, sure. Alright, proceed to next path. Alright, now that it's installed, just log in. So now it's telling me that my install uh, file is still there, but um, you guys can figure out how to delete that. I know you do know how. Um, so this is like the admin CP of your um, forum to change all your forums and all their themes and all that. So um, this is what your forum should actually look like. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. I still need more video ideas, so if you got any, please request them. Thanks.